Valente, everyone, and welcome back to the official channel of Wondershare Dr. Phone. I am Francisco, and I am here with a brand new video on rebooting your Android phones and tablets with multiple techniques. If you're searching for multiple ways to reboot your Android devices, you should definitely take a look at this video. So before we go ahead and get started, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for the latest updates moving forward. Now with that said, let's dive right in. So as for part one, how to simply reboot your Android device. So for starters, we will first discuss how you can simply reboot your Android device. So for this, we would advise you should go ahead and follow the steps that we're just about to talk about right away. This would surely restart all sessions within your device and make it smooth. So for step one, hold the power button of your Android device for just a few seconds. Then a section is going to appear on the screen where you need to go ahead and choose restart in order to reboot your Android device successfully. Part two, how do I hard reboot my phone when it's frozen? So what if your device is just completely frozen? In such cases, you might not figure out how you can make your Android device work properly. And hard restarting your Android device might just be the best way to going about it. Although the combination of a hard reset varies for every other device carrier, it is still quite the same for the most part. And now on the first try, you can just consider holding the power button of your Android for about 15 to 30 seconds. In other cases, try holding the power and volume down keys for just a few seconds. If the device is turned off automatically, then fantastic. Conversely, you can also try the combination of the power and volume up button for effective results. Now for part three, how to reboot Android phone without power button. So is your power button not working, let's say, or has it just stopped? working. Now we're going to walk you through how to reboot uh, your phone without a power button in case of anything. And now these techniques will surely help you in assessing the condition of your Android device. So let's go ahead and proceed into the methods right away. Uh, so the first one is to try removing and reinserting the battery again. If by any luck you do have an Android device that contains a removable battery in today's time, it is best to just remove it and then reinsert the battery across your Android device. Considering that you don't have a power button and to take some quick actions, this is probably going to be one of the closest things that you can do in order to make sure that your device operates properly. You can also use the Power Menu app. There are going to be multiple third-party applications available for rebooting your Android device without a power button. And finding the right application is pretty important here as, as the device's privacy and security are important to cater to it as well. Thus, we're going to be introducing you to the Power Menu software power button app on the Google Play Store and that provides the perfect option for accessing the reboot options across your computer. So look ahead and let's find out how to get that app. I just download and install the Power Menu Software Power Button app from the Play Store and go ahead and open up that application and then click on the Take Me To Settings screen from there in order to lead into the Settings menu. In the General section, I just find the Downloaded Apps tab and then tap on the Power Menu option on the list and the next screen and then toggle its setting across the Use Power Menu option. Now, once you have that set, let's go back to the application and then click on open power menu on your device in order to manage the reboot accessibility on your device. And then you can just restart it from there. And now for part four, how to restart my phone from my computer. So this seems to be quite peculiar to function, but it is essentially possible to restart your Android device using your computer. Although you might be surprised to hear this, let's actually go ahead and walk you through the steps. So step number one is going to be that before starting with the actual process, you need to make sure that your Android device has USB debugging enabled across itself. Now this can be done by going across the settings of your Android device, followed by the about phone sections and then tapping on the build number option multiple times until you become a developer and notification will pop up for you. As you set yourself as a developer, you need to navigate to at the developer options in the settings of your Android device and then find the option of USB debugging. And then just make sure the toggle is actually on. Whenever you connect your Android device to a PC, it's going to show you that the USB debugging is active. Now following this, you need to download Android Debug Bridge or ADB software across your device. And just start the setup. And then the new window opens up on the new screen where you have to answer yes across 
all questions and then go ahead and tap on enter. Upon completion of the installation, a warning message will appear on the screen of your computer where you have to click on install in order to proceed. And then you can just discover the directory uh, that's going to be listed right over here on, on screen as you should be seeing it. And then go ahead and click on open Windows PowerShell. As a new window opens up front, go ahead and type ADB devices and tap on enter from there and we'll display the IMEI number for you. I now need to go ahead and type ADB reboot across the window and hit enter enter in, in order to restart your phone from there. And then just close the window and unplug your phone. Should be good to go from there. Now for part five how to reboot Android system in general. If none of the provided methods are, are effective in running the Android device properly after a reboot, you may then have to reboot your Android systems, which then needs you to access the device's recovery mode and, and to bring a malfunctioning application to life, it gets necessary in order to take such a step. Let's figure out exactly how to do this. The method of entering into recovery mode of your Android device varies from device to device. So check your manufacturer's guidelines in order for finding a proper technique for entering recovery mode for your phone in particular. And as you put your device in recovery mode, you're going to find a menu of options where you can select the option of reboot system now in the list. So just use volume up and down buttons in order to navigate this menu until you get to the power option to execute it. So for part six, what if Android doesn't reboot at all? Although we might have gone through an extensive list of solutions that are applicable to reboot your Android device, there are certain situations where the Android device just doesn't want to reboot, regardless of the extent of the condition. And to know more about these situations, the following snippets discuss exactly what things could be causing this or what things could be done in order to resolve this. So these are cases where your Android device freezes even though the device is completely charged. It might not function over a simple reboot where it may require a proper hard reset which may put it back in its normal state. But you're currently stuck in booting your Android device in recovery mode. Considering if it crashes in the middle of the process, the only way out is to factory reset it from recovery mode, that is. And if you try to change uh, the working ROM on your Android device, it might have hinged certain settings across it, and it may prevent you from entering recovery mode across your Android device. And if your device is not responding and has a completely black screen, the probable explanation is a used battery that needs to be charged before being turned on. And while factory resetting your device to fix a reboot issue with your Android device, you may have to restore Android OS back to its original state just in case, and then just reinstall the Android firmware from there. So we have gathered quite a lot of information in this video for you related to rebooting your Android devices. Now with the hope that you'd be able to, able to figure out everything in this video, we come to an end at last. And if you like this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and please go ahead and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. Now, until next time, have a wonderful day.